Oh my god, look, I'm dummy dick, dude. Look behind me. <laughs> Hasn't been much, Dan. <laughs> Alright, yo, what up guys, I just played back in the video today, number 5 on my new Minecraft world, and as you guys just saw what this looked before, we're about to start um, on the new farm. It's not going to be totally automatic, because you know, there's not going to be any villagers, but it's going to be automatic with like redstone and water, and what I'm starting right here is we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and then we're doing 5 layers of it, see this 3, 4, 5 right there. And then we're going to uh, do it four wide because we're going to put water sources right here in between. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, another one. And then so we can only have water sources right here in the middle. And we don't have to worry about doing it every single one. And uh, there's going to be five on this section. And then five on that section. And it's going five down. So a uh, total we'll have, um, that's, f I think over a hundred different platforms of farmland to no, no no it'll be 55 it'll be 55 because it'll be 25 on this one and 25 on that one wait that's 50 well okay well we'll have a whole bunch of platforms of farmland and we'll probably do wheat carrot we'll do every single one and then i think mostly we'll do carrots because those are the best especially if we get gold to make golden carrots and that is what today's video is going to be about and also we're going to be working on the interior of the house and i've actually already got a little bit started and I think I'm going to keep it the way that I've already started it, mostly. Um, so once we get in here, I put uh, a wall up right here in the middle and another wall up to make it kind of split into three, but it's easy access to all the rooms. I didn't want any doors to make it messy at all. And then if we take a look up here at the ceiling, I added these like little indents with staircases and slabs across on every single one of the lights. And right here, to make it look a little bit better, not just a straight-up wall. And then we added one throughout the entire build this way so that it looks like it's being connected all the way. I just thought it looked convenient. And then since how the roof is, doesn't matter. These aren't poking out or nothing. You guys might have seen that when I was walking over here, but yeah. And then I just put a little fence here for a little bit of detail. I just thought that looked nice. Um, stuff still spawns like right here, but I thought that as I build actually inside of the rooms and uh, areas that I could just put like I don't know, just other lighting things, not just torches. I mean, I, heck, I could still put torches down, but I just don't like the way torches look. I kind of like a torch-free area, especially inside a building. But for now, we're going to keep working on the farm, and uh, show you guys what it looks like once I get a little more done. Here goes the last bucket of water. There we go. So, yeah, I just I added all the platforms, and I for sure know that there's 50 different platforms now all around. There's 50, right? Okay. And then... Each of those each of these platforms hold 28, and so 50 times 28 is 1,400. So we have 1,400 blocks of farm platform, like farm ground, yeah. And then, um, so obviously I have to hoe it now, which is going to take like 10 minutes, dude. It's going to take forever. But now I'm just starting on, um, like, figuring out a design that I want to do. Like, I don't really know what exactly i kind of want to do but i'm thinking that since i haven't used cobblestone too much just yet i'm thinking we use cobblestone and then we use logs to keep with the theme of like my building since i use logs to put there but i just don't know like it's just it's kind of looking weird or off a little bit i think if i had some stair uh stairs and maybe some other detail and i could add torches on the edges and stuff it would look really good and then um uh, <clears throat> These will be covered too, like it will have like a copy over like this, so like it looks like it's through, but it will just be right here, so it covers with the water. So, so it looks like there's no water in the farm. That's what that will look like, and then same with right there. Yeah, that's how it's going to be, I think, for the whole part of it. But now I just need to get down to hoeing most of the land, and then it will be probably. On to getting all the carrots and potatoes and beetroots for this. And that will probably take forever. We'll probably only be able to do like one strip or so. But uh, yeah, if you guys have liked the video so far, like it. And uh, 
we're going to be doing some more, uh, like I'll show you what I did at the village, because I finished up the village kind of, like the, the wizard tower and stuff, and uh, all the terraforming, so you guys will see that too. But uh, for now, I'm just going to finish up this, and then we'll go look at that. Boop! Yo, okay, so we just got past the river, and we're almost at the village, right over this mountain, and it's nighttime because what I did makes the village look really, really sick at night, and here it is. Dude, look how light it is. Okay, so, if you're curious why it's so light, it's because, um, I knew of this thing, this little glitch in Minecraft before, but I usually never did it. Like, look at the pathways, how light they are. So, all you have to do is have the blocks underneath open, and we just put torches underneath all the pathways. Like, every single one of them. And so, at nighttime, it's so lit up. I'm not sure if it's, we'll make it mobs proof, but... Um, it just looks way neater at night. And in the daytime, it, it lightens it up a bit, too, so it makes it look better. And just walking through here, it just makes it look, like, way more distinct, the pathway. And then, of course, uh, we terraformed the areas, which I just did a little bit ago on this side. This was the hardest one to do because I didn't want to ruin the river, so I had to do it very vertically. But I think I did a pretty good job. I hope you guys think I did, too. And then, um... We just added more trees, like the bigger ones, like the bigger ones around, like that one right there, and smaller ones around, like the bigger one right there, a couple big ones far away, and then, um, what, oh, we added a pathway on this side, and then wraps around here and goes on this side, and then the pathway, this pathway will, will go and turn off this over here and go to the middle because we'll be building a like a uh, world hub in the middle of the map and the middle of the map is pretty much at that village where my arrow's at right there pretty much zero zero and then probably the another thing we did was we built uh, a ladder to the top because we we're going to build a staircase but it just didn't look as good as i wanted it to be so we just changed it to the ladders and so now you can get up to here at the top and see the village and it's all its glory from up here uh and then we were also talking about maybe building some more <clears throat> houses over here but we're just not sure at the moment but i feel like we definitely need some more big trees and some more over here definitely but from up here honestly dude the village looks hecka amazing oh and then um let's get back down to the bottom okay there we go and the corners, I'm still going to be building the things, and I built the the cemetery, as I said, for the, the fallen villagers. Let's, uh, you know, just, just, you know, a second of silence. Alright, that's uh, long enough. <laughs> Here we got <laughs> all, the, all of our wandering villagers. The villagers didn't fit, so I put buds as buddies. And then um, James Todd, which was, the, which was the guy villager that I accidentally killed because he was a farmer. And then um, I accidentally killed Billy Bellish, which she was a, a librarian. But we're not going to talk about those guys. They've had enough attention, obviously. And look, they're, their places are fresh, because clearly I just put them into the ground right there. But uh, on to the next one, which I'll be showing you what I'm actually going to do. Uh, so in the middle, it will be the fountain, as you guys can see right now. This will be the fountain. And then I think we're going to put a, a lantern here placed on top. And a lantern here, which I think I have some. I just don't have them on me. And then we got logs because I want to add some bushes. So I want to do some get some logs. And where are the leaves? Yeah, we we'll get some leaves. We'll find those lanterns if they're here too. Where are they? We'll we'll just make some right now. All right, got the lanterns. And then we're gonna put those in the corner. Okay, so there we go. There we go. And then we're going to do three bushes. And I think when we do two tall, we'll check and see what it looks like right after. So is it lined up? Okay, it is. One, two, three. No, it's not. No. Oh. Maybe it is, but it's just off. That's fine if it's off. I don't care too much about that. So we'll do that. Okay, give me those leaves. 
Now see, how does that look? We're obviously going to bone mill the area too. I just don't have bone mill me at the moment. Uh, I think that looks alright. I think that we should have um, two more maybe in the back area. And we'll put two right here. And then maybe we'll put two back here just for good measure. Just to spruce up the area. <laughs> Get it? Because cause of the... So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this area looks very nice now. Yeah, because you got that little one back there. They're a bit off of all each other. And this isn't perfectly symmetrical into the middle. So that's a bit good. I like it a lot. It'll just, if I have some, Actually, let's check if we have some phone mail. I wasn't going to check. And I was just going to move on to the next one. But... Uh, oh. Oh, no. It's not phone mail. Oh, we have a bone. Let's oh, make that into bone mill. <laughs> We're going to have to use this very precisely. One, two. Well, that didn't do that much, but you guys get the point. All right, and then this side will be the horse stable. How convenient. My horse is already over here for some reason. And this one will probably be just some type of small uh like we'll, we'll put fences right there fences right there we'll put a little roof and then add some details in the floor and i'm gonna do that off cam and then i'll show you guys what it looks like just finished look guys so i kind of wanted like a little sloped roof and so that's kind of what happened here you know i think the majority of people probably would have had it sloped the other way but i wanted to have it sloped inwards i don't know i just thought it would look better a little bit and then uh yeah my horse is in there so the idea that I thought would be, okay, you can get your horse in there, right, if it's already in there. Mine's already in there, right? Uh, you can walk through here, but obviously the horses can't get out because they're too big. And so you can get in like that without using gates or anything. And then I had a little horse trough. I added a whole bunch of little blocks right here like you'd probably typically see, like, you know, the ground all mushed up, maybe a couple wood there. If there's some stone, it'd be all mossied over. And then just some andesite and some, some coarse dirt. And then a flower just for good touch, you know? But the, the idea that I had for this would be that if you have your horse in here, or you need to get in here, it has to be able to jump this, or you can't put him in here. And my horse can do it, so that's pretty cool. And then jump back in, and then you just go in here. And you can leave him, and you don't have to worry about doing anything else except having him inside. And that's a really good touch, and then I just added a, uh, a lantern right here to make it, you know, light up at night. And then, I think last but not least, uh, this corner... I was just going to like play some flowers and stuff here just randomly because I don't know what to put here. But um, a lot of the villagers like group up right here. And so I think that I'm just going to make the wall come in right here on this corner. And so and then I'll just make a pathway on the outside. Because they like to group up around the fountain when it's their meeting time. Because they have a meeting time in their uh, like, like a, I don't know how to say like program or whatever. Like see how they're all here. Like it's just that time of day. I think it's usually at like noon, a little past noon, and so I think I'll like turn it off, turn the the corner off and cut it off a little bit, even though it's for spawn, I know, but uh, and then I'll just make the path turn, I think that's what's up, but we'll just do that off camera. For now, we're going to go back and finish up the rest of the farm. Oh, my axe just broke, god. Oh, of course I'm out of iron. Oh, I already knew that because I freaking stone axe. Well, hey guys. Um, so yeah, my pickaxe just broke, as, as you could just see. But uh, I went mining. Uh, I think yesterday, and I brought back a whole bunch of stuff. Look at all my iron that I have now, and look at this freaking amount of coal, dude. It's like I think about half this chest. If I make them into actual regular coal, not coal blocks, <laughs> that's why they're block form. They take up so much space if I if I do it in the regular form but yeah look i got diamonds look at the gold lapis we had some redstone too i don't know where that's at yeah well i had some redstone as well but but look so uh we're building up some of the walls we just uh because me i had asked amy if you could help me uh mine out some of the ground out which he did he held it for me and then instead of doing um the pathways in the middle we're going to do it like this so you can walk up easily on the side and we get more farmland back and then um i'm thinking that we'll probably do these two up 
like uh, two up probably. Same with those ones, all of them up. And then um, we'll do a like roof kind of over it, like a, a roof that slants and goes up the entire way on all of them. I think that's what I want to do because I want it to look like it's a little bit realistic because if I had a farm that I wanted to control by my own in real life, I wouldn't have other factors messing with it like natural rainwater if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense i could just simply leave it off but just so it looks a little better i think i want to do that so there's um 10 different uh like different water areas where the water will come down right so uh i'm gonna have a, a lever uh like the redstone lever connection and it's going to be connected to all of them that's going to be one lever i'm going to have one lever connected to every single um piston that's going to drop the water to destroy all the farms and then i'm going to have one that does half and then i think i want to do one that does just one and then probably just two because like you know what if i don't feel like destroying it all and then replacing it back like that this is gonna take a long time if we had it all with carrots or something and needed to break it all and then if anybody else wants to do it, I feel like they don't want to do that. They just want to do one because, I mean, if th this is 7x4, which is 28. If that's carrots, you will guaranteed already get probably like 45 just from one of these if it's completely ground. And then so it's like 45, 45. That's 5 times 45, which is over 200, which you'll probably get an average of like a three stacks of each one of these strips if they're fully ground. And that's just for carrots. That's not talking about maybe potatoes or wheat could be different. But yeah, and then... um. Yeah, so the redstone up here with the water will not be with dispensers or droppers. It will just be with pistons holding the water back, and then you'll power it so that the water releases it. And so, like, a block will be right here, water on top, pistons holding the block forward, and the piston will retract, and it will pop it back here, and the water will drip and drip all the way down. And we'll probably have a collection system at the bottom with, like, hoppers and or... We could even do a minecart hopper that goes back and forth and picks them all up and then puts them into one area on one side or in the middle instead of using so many hoppers. But yeah, that's that's what we're going to be doing for this. All right, bros, I know that's a, that was a pretty drastic cut, but um, I just thought we'd come back over here to the house and work on some of the, the interior. Now, I don't have everything that I think I might need, but so the plans are, I think, for the house. I want this area, the first room, to be probably like where the furnaces and stuff are. And maybe like a crafting table and maybe an anvil in the middle, right? And the second room be a bed, which I kind of have a bed, but I don't want to show you guys just yet because I think that it looks really terrible. And I, I'm trying to think of another idea to do. But uh, in this room, I think that we should have in the center the enchantment table. And then... um. On these areas right here on the back probably have most of the storage like chest right here chest right here and chest right here and then obviously with the stuff that i want to keep that's like valuable i'll keep the middle next to my bed area but yeah i'm thinking we have either right here or right here the jam table and then now here's the time for you to see the bed that i made i don't think it looks that good i think it looks all right if i was trash but i just couldn't figure out a design because um of how small or not small but how like medium sized the room is so this is what the bed looks like it doesn't even look good from the side oh my god like i don't would signs look better on the sides uh, now no that really doesn't help it at all i don't know because i wanted to do a big style bed but a big style bed it's five blocks so maybe I'd have to switch up the rooms, but for now, I think that I want to continue with what I was saying. So I think that we put blast furnaces there, we put regular furnaces there, and we put smokers on the back. And since I'm not doing that much smelting and stuff, we're just going to do three, but like I could go all the way up to like freaking, I could get to the ceiling, so I could have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen of each. And heck, I could still put some in the middle, right? And then right here in the middle, directly, I think we have a crafting table. And then I don't want to waste my iron for an anvil just yet, but an anvil 
station, like maybe right here, and then we have a grindstone station right here. I think I do have grindstones. We could we could put one of those on the on the floor. Gosh, where where is it? Uh, maybe it's over here. No, no. Really? I had one, dude. Is it in here and I just missed it? Oh, I guess we can we can take a yeah. There's a grindstone. But I was thinking, what I, the other thing? What is it called? Uh. Where is it? I was thinking of the thing that has like the blade. Yeah, this, the stone cutter. Let's make a stone cutter. Do I have stone? Stone, stone, stone. Oh, there's some stone. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like we have any iron on us. Let's take a little bit. Alright, where's the stone cutter? Okay, there we go. And then, alright. I would say we probably shouldn't put them on the ground and make a little table, and here we go, I'll make a little table with these. So yeah, I think in each of these corners we'll have a round-ish sort of table, maybe. If I can do it correctly. So there, boom, boom. And then, there. There's a little room to walk all the way around. And we can just put it right. I want the I want the stone cutter over here. There we go. And then we'll make one over here. Slab, slab. Is that how it is? Hmm. It's off just a bit. Okay. Boom. So yeah, guys, I, um, like, most of the areas are gonna be pretty much exactly the same. But obviously my the house interior could get messy or change over time, at any time, of course. But I think that just about does it for this interior right here. I know it looks pretty bland and lame, but, uh, I just don't want to do too much just in case if I want to redesign or anything, you know, or, uh, adjust. I think we can make some bookcases, but I'm not sure if we have that many. I do have some chests. Yep, I have the chests on me for the uh, the other room. Leather. Oh, here we go. Here's some leather. Oh, I don't have any, do I have any paper. Yeah, I don't have any paper. See, guys, I don't have a lot of stuff to actually fill in the rooms. But what I'm thinking is that we do the chests. This wasn't going to be a huge interior video. That's mainly for the the farm, which uh, is is done. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it is done almost. There's a couple little tweaks I gotta do, and then all I have to do is show you guys what it is. I think I didn't want it to connect. How do I? Is there a way that I I can't have that happen? I can do that for now. That will work. And then I was thinking this, but I don't think it's going to look good, so... Um... Hmm, we'll do that. And then we'll actually have this bring back one then, since there's room. And then I was also thinking that we could add in, like, into the corners right here. Just a couple of bushes just to add you know a little bit of a greenery on the inside but that's pretty woody and if you guys know anything about wood it's actually dead you know that makes sense because you know i'm educated i know what a live wood is and dead wood <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's my interior. I hope you kind of like it. I know it looks pretty newbie. I mean, there's still dirt where stuff's supposed to be. But I think it looks not so empty in here. And I'll actually begin to move my stuff in here as well. And so it will actually be filled and I'll actually use the inside of my house. And I, this probably was boring a clip, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> these awkward moments of me trying to make a video and getting really up close with the camera like I am at the moment. I'm staring at you, yeah, I am. But uh let's cut to the 
The farm. Alright, bros, let's talk for a second. So, um, the farm is pretty much done, but I'm running out of time to make this video, and I'm running out of time just to even play right now. Um, because I'm going to the beach this weekend. I'm actually about to leave because it's Friday and we're staying the night there, and then on Saturday, uh, it's just a little vacation and taking my senior photos there as well. And so, I couldn't exactly finish all of the farm, but I'm going to show you what I do have done. Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> if I were to, like, mine all this right now, I would probably be able to fill up most, or if not the entire farm, right? And, uh, we finished all the roofs and everything. Looks pretty okay, I think. I don't know why there's a crafting table, that's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, and then we put lanterns on the front. You guys might have seen that, maybe. And then, um, we have it where there's going to be a control panel right here where this one's going to break three. This one's going to break two, this one's going to break two, break three, so it's going to be three, those two, those two, those two, three. So if you want to do all of them, you can just hit them all right. And then um, it's going to be connected down here, all to all of them. That's how it's going to work, so there's a, there's a piston right here that pushes the redstone block down. And that will power this, uh, gosh, what is it called? <laughs> the repeater, the resonant repeater, right? Yeah, and then uh, I have them all set up where the the redstone won't touch each other, which I think uh, did a pretty good job with that. It's not connected, of course, yet, because I don't have enough time. But I did set up one that kind of shows you exactly how it's going to be. So this is exactly how I'm, all of them are going to be. I put this so you won't see so much dirt, and then this is so the water can't get out. And uh, I sh I put up a little diagram back here of the so uh, there's two water streams, and those get pulled back by a piston, as I said earlier, and then the water lands on these, which makes it fall off to the side and push out on all four. And then uh, the redstone is connected just like this. So this piece of redstone powers both of those because it's above, and then this one slides over, and this one powers this one. And then you just uh, unpower it, and the water will pour down and drip all the way down. I accidentally did it just a couple seconds ago when I was doing the redstone, or you guys would see a whole bunch of carrots flying down, but yeah, that's how it's going to be set up. And then, um, so clearly there's a giant piece of dirt land that's just floating right here. I'm going to build up a uh, detailed style wall and probably a uh, staircase that goes up right here like this way and one on that side, and then of course a staircase on the end or something, and that's how that's going to be set up. And then same with the back, because of all the redstone and pistons and stuff, there's just going to be a wall since it's pretty much on top of the mountain. But uh, that's probably about it, guys, for this video. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't show you the complete version of this that's going to be finished, but next video, I definitely will. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you have, like it. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and see ya.